Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine and um, also practicing along with me and following my tutorial. So as I've already mentioned in all my earlier tutorial videos, just practice uh, because your exams are just around the corner. And these videos are particularly done for the four-year graduation programs under a CBCS system and NEP system. And uh, these uh, uh, sections, this part is mainly according to the Calcutta University syllabus, uh, graduation syllabus. So um, I hope these videos uh, are helpful for you all for your preparation. Gene plot section will be a 20 marks uh, section out of 100 marks paper. So if you uh, fetch good marks in this area, so you can also fare well and get more scores. So let's move on to the next part. We have already done the basics uh, and then we have done the Gaussian functions. And after that, we have done multi-plot and now today we'll do 3D plotting, okay? So as the name suggests, we have to plot uh, figures in three-dimensional form. So three-dimensional means X, Y, and Z uh, columns will be there. And up till now, whatever we were doing, we were doing in two-dimensional frames, uh, that is X and Y. From now, we'll be doing three-dimensional uh, formats. Uh, so instead of using PLOT, as the plot command uh, for the functions uh, that you will be plotting, we'll write S plot. Okay, so the command for um, three dimensional plotting is S plot. And it covers all the features that is being uh, inside the plotting function. For example, the ranges, the tapes, the labels, the axis. Okay, everything is there. Just same as the plot command in 2D, this S plot works for 3D, okay? So let us uh, plot a simple function and as I'm plotting, I'll explain everything in detail. So let's plot, uh, let's take a function as sine x into cos y. So I want to plot this function. Earlier when I used to write uh, only this plot sine x, uh, into cos y, I used to get a two-dimensional view. Okay, now when I'm writing s plot sine x into cos y, I'll get a three-dimensional graph. So let's press enter and check. So you see this is a three-dimensional picture of uh, the function that we have taken sine x into cos y. Okay, now uh, the uh, some kind of warning is appearing. Don't worry for that, okay? Okay, now, uh, this is actually uh, a simple function that I've drawn in order to actually uh, make you all understand. We'll move to further complex functions uh, gradually. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Now, to see the plot uh, more clearly, we can use uh, some more uh, commands like set, hidden, tree, d. Now, what this hidden 3D does, it removes the hidden lines, okay? And once you write this command, the next part is to replot your uh, graph and see how it has turned out. So just press enter. And you can now figure out earlier, it was quite uh, impossible to clearly understand each area. But now what happened after using hidden 3D, you can clearly uh, understand the plot. Okay. So I have mentioned the use of hidden 3D. Now for a better uh, uh, more smoother plot, okay? So you can use set ISO samples 50, 50 and great plot. So this will make your plot even more smoother and 
let's check. So I hope you are able to understand the changes that are being plotted with each uh, command. Okay. Now, if you want to change the color, you don't like this color, if you want to change the color, you can set uh, the color map, like P and 3D is the color map. And for every command, for each command that you use, you just mention the reflect. So you see, uh, you have, uh, after using P and 3D, you have such combination of colors. So vibrant colors are coming. So just work your, um, do whatever you want to, and just ch check the changes that comes up. Okay. So now one more thing, just a second. Uh, question is there. Now, yes, you can also use the, RGB formula palette for the coloring of color. You can also check out this. Let us uh, write yeah, any color or pattern you want to get. So, so I'm writing RGB palette with it. So RGB, red, green, blue. RGB means red, green, blue. This RGB formula. And mention some numbers because uh, you have to give numbers for the colors. So I take in 10, 20, and 50. And again, as mentioned, right, three plot. Now press enter and you see the changes in the color. So this is how it works. So just to recapitulate once again, you, when you are using a three dimensional uh, plot, you have to write. S plot and the next function that we have done to remove the hidden lines, we have used hidden 3D to make the plot more smoother. We have used ISO samples and we have taken the measurement as 50-50 and for color combinations, you can use either of them. So I hope this section as to how to plot a three dimensional graph is clear to you all. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share the link to other students and others so that everybody can benefit. And I want each of you all to perform well in your upcoming board exams, in your graduation exams. Uh, so let me know how much you scored in Genial Plot after your results are out. I'll be happy to know, okay? Thank you so much and uh, Please watch the next part, which is the parametric plot. Okay? Stay safe, everybody. Thank you.